a large portion of Arizona under a red flag warning today as wildfires rage on. And in New Mexico, scientists fear weather conditions could more than double the size of a mega fire there. News Nation's Alex Puckett joins us live from Birmingham, Alabama. So, Alex, how long are these red flags warnings expected to last? I think you can expect to see these kinds of warnings continue at least for the next two or three days, but really these conditions aren't improving anytime soon. You can still see the big fires that you were talking about there showing up in New Mexico right now where the big dark gray plumes of smoke are drifting off to the north right now. Again, the conditions you need for big fires are all in place in the southwest. Hot, windy, and dry conditions. And the dry conditions is something we've been dealing with in the western half of the United States for a long time. This is the latest drought monitor. Parts of New Mexico in extreme and exceptional drought at the top end of the scale. And I think New Mexico and the west Texas probably going to be where the worst of the fires are, uh, perhaps eastern Arizona as well. Look as we head into next week, single digits for relative humidity across much of New Mexico as we head through Monday. We'll do the same thing in the heat of the day on Tuesday as well. Windy conditions as well. We're talking wind gusts that could get to 30 miles an hour. And these hot, dry, windy conditions, well, they're on the rise in the western half of the United States over the past few decades. East of that, east of all the dry air, big thunderstorms developing across western Texas right now. You can see that severe thunderstorm watch, tornado watch in place. We have seen a few tornadoes in west Texas. Uh, that purple box there, a confirmed tornado east of uh, Fort Stockton. These storms drift off to the north and east, and we're talking more severe weather tomorrow. I'm going to break down the severe weather threat for the rest of this evening and tomorrow across the plains coming up. Ruta Bay. Alex, thank you. Next on News Nation Prime, a nationwide damaging winds and tornadoes are expected to sweep across the central U.S. News Nation's Alex Puckett in Birmingham joins us live with the latest check on weather. Alex. Ruta Bay, a few watches and a lot of warnings in place. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch for northern North Carolina, southern Virginia, some damaging winds and some of those storms. But the big storms are in Texas, far western uh, and northwestern Oklahoma, eastern New Mexico, and into far southeastern Colorado, out ahead of a big dry line. So basically, these storms forming right on the leading edge of dry air that's intruding onto humid air. And you can see just tons of thunderstorms erupting on this dry line. And these storms, particularly, in Texas are incredibly intense. So we'll take a closer look at some of these. Uh, a couple of tornado warnings in place uh, right now in Pecos County, Texas, including a confirmed tornado on this supercell storm here north of I-10 between uh, Bakersfield and Adobe Crossing. And then this storm north of Fort Stockton now has a tornado warning as well. Both of those in Pecos County will drift a little bit further north here and take a look at a few more storms ongoing. These producing incredibly large hail, damaging winds, and again, the potential for these to produce tornadoes as well. This one near Brownfield, likely producing very large hail. Same goes for this one south and east of La Mesa, Texas. And then this storm that's now pushing through Snyder, Texas, on the southern end, producing a confirmed tornado as well as baseball-sized hail and destructive straight-line winds. And then further north still, towards the Texas Panhandle, a storm has just moved through Amarillo, and this thing producing a Again, incredibly large hail. You can see more severe storms erupting in far eastern New Mexico, and we've got severe weather even as far north as uh, southeastern Colorado. The Storm Prediction Center, again, putting all of West Texas here under that enhanced risk. We'll go to the forecast model here. These blue streaks you see is where the forecast model thinks severe weather is possible. And unfortunately, as we head into tomorrow, that severe weather threat still going to be in the plains, extending from Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, and again, more potentially severe weather as we head into tomorrow and into tomorrow night for the Great Plains. So a very stormy pattern in place for the central United States, hot and dry in the southwest. And we do have more storms in the east Eastern half of the country as we head through the next three days as well. Ruta Bay. Alex, thank you. A high school football.